Okay, let's carry on with our visual and uh, our mock-up rather. So let's now make a new folder or group and we'll call that digital. And the digital section, okay, so let's make a rectangle. We'll have no stroke. What color shall we have? Uh, let's think about our color. So go to Adobe Color again. Choose a preferred color. one here. So click on to that. Copy. Let's go to here. Click on to the fill. Click into here. Paste. Choose that color there. So now we're going to use a shape. So drag, pull, Make a shape, okay. and this is going to be the digital. Here's a quick tip. So let's select this, and I'm going to duplicate this by dragging it onto the new frame. So new layer, let's move it up, put it into digital. Let's physically move it here, hold down, alt, and then let's, sorry, shift, and then let's type in digital. And on digital, we're probably going to have maybe some thumbnails, some thumbnails. So, I don't know how many thumbnails I've got. But let's go into Illustrator and I'm going to select everything so make sure that everything is not locked. Edit, copy into here and into, into Photoshop and I need to so I need to, because this is a shape layer and this is a text layer, I need to make a new layer and paste. Paste is pixels. Okay. Probably going to reduce that down in size a little bit. Okay. And Place that there. I'm now going to make that into a mask. So click on to mask. Unclick that. So I want to move the want to move the image up a little bit just to get rid of that black line. Okay, click that again so both can now move. Put this other one there. And uh, the other digital work I've got is the cityscape. So let's have a look at that. Click on to here, save that. Open the cityscape again. File open recent cityscape. Okay. Same thing, make sure everything is unselected. Sorry, everything is not locked. Control A to copy everything. There's two things that are locked down here. Control A or select all. 
copy, paste, edit, paste, click OK, makes a new layer, not in digital, that's a bit annoying, and we will hold down shift, enlarge it a bit bigger, so probably about there. Click OK, that's the right size. Then I'm going to make that selection, move it over to here, make sure I'm on this layer here, and make a, another mask. Drag that into there. So here we go, we've got two um, thumbnails now. It doesn't look like that's quite the same size. So I'm going to just manipulate this mask a little bit. Okay, so remember I click onto the mask layer and I'm going to fill that with black. Fill it with black and that will just crop that a little bit. Okay. So they are now the same size. Now remember when using masks, okay, I'm just going to unclick the link on that so I can, oops, so I can, and then click on the artwork so I can move the artwork around a little bit. That's probably a better, better crop of it. Remember to lock that again so when you move, both will move together. Okay, what else? Let's get a little bit of text. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate this by dragging on the new layer, move it down a little bit. I need to put it in, lift it up so it's in the digital area. And this is where I'm going to have a little bit of text. Click on the T, and that is going to span two columns. Okay, so now let's move these a little bit more in position. Try and start to line stuff up. Okay, all right, that's looking good. So basically, you carry on making this master file, okay, until you've got all sections complete. Now, I'm going to think about the audio section, the audio section. 